I never met an egg I didn't like. There's soft boiled, there's hard boiled, and then there's that like sweet spot in between. Hey, this is how to make dinner. I'm Paula and we're making jammy eggs. <laughs> I actually don't like that word. So it's gonna be a pretty quick video. It just takes six and a half minutes. All you need is cold eggs from the fridge and a pot. The key here is timing. So I have only about a half inch of water in this pot. So it's not as much of a boil as it is a steam. And the reason for that is because when you lower the eggs in, the cold eggs, it doesn't take as long for the water to come back up to a boil. So you want that, that kind of heat temperature drop thing to be as quick as possible so that you so it doesn't throw off your timing so this water's boiling and i'm gonna use three eggs but with this method you could use six eight as many as you want and it would be the same exact timing so the lid's going back on and already it's come back to a boil because there's not a lot of water to to heat up there so six and a half minutes on the timer So for the last three minutes, I'm going to make a piece of toast. Side note, my boyfriend makes the best sauerkraut in the world. So good, in fact, that this giant jar was opened only two days ago and there's only two of us that live here. That's actually crazy though, isn't it? It's not like any other sauerkraut you've seen, it's like, it's like pulverize he does it in a juicer it's really weird oh my god it's so good this isn't a sauerkraut episode this is just um this is just a si gone sideways episode mm. oh my god that's it for the kraut so i'm gonna butter some toast for this uh perfect egg how much butter is too much butter for toast? I think that looks about right. Yeah. Let's see how we did. By the way, if you start peeling at the fat end, it will peel easier because there's always a little air pocket down there and if you don't know this already you cannot use ultra fresh eggs for for boiling and peeling it's impossible i used to work at a farm where we would get eggs like the day they were laid and it was freaking impossible to peel them so we would have a stash that we would put aside for like two or three days before we'd make egg salad out of them. And another trick is if your egg is really, really not peeling and you really need a, an extra bit of help, um, a teaspoon really is a helpful tool because you can actually just slide right in underneath the membrane and just take it right off. It's so good. So I'm gonna rinse this one more time and the big reveal here. You ready? Oh, see that? Look at that business. That is a perfect egg. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna rinse off these other ones in cold water so I don't overcook. So next thing for me is just to squash it onto a piece of toast. This is the breakfast my dad always had when I was a kid. I don't know why I never had it, but I always thought it looked so good. And then some pepper. And some coarse fancy salt, my fave. You guys, look at this. Perfect, jammy, not too runny, delicious egg on toast.
Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. The simple things in life are the best. There it is. I hope you feel like you can make perfect eggs every time now. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm just distracted now from the egg. Mm. Freaking perfect. <laughs> so good. That's all. Ha, ha, ha.